Okay, I think we're live. Uh, this is Cam and Jason from a video, and uh, we can't find Mike and Eric to help us out with this video, so we're just going with it. And she's making me do this against <laughs> my will. So we're gonna. And Jason's really excited because he loves doing Facebook Live because <clears throat> um, he knows a lot of good information about advertising on Facebook and helping small businesses with their internet marketing. Um, so yeah, so we're just going to get started. Um, today we wanted to talk about, um, small businesses and marketing in 2017. If you're a new business or, um, you've never used Facebook before to do marketing or to get new clients or to talk about who you are as a business, um, Facebook is a great place to start. Um, it's better than AdWords sometimes because it, uh, it's a little bit less expensive and you can really target your audience. So, Jason, if you're a business for, um, advertising in 2017 and you want to use Facebook and you've never used Facebook before, what would your advice be? Well, it's a pretty broad question, but the first and obvious thing would be to, A, have a Facebook page. Check. And, uh then, you know, make sure you cover the basics. Make sure you fill out, you know, have a profile picture, a cover photo, uh, add some information to your about area, uh, you know, address, phone number, um, and come up with a schedule to post some regular content. And, you know, by content, I, I would, I think that's one of the most uh, common questions I get from clients of ours is, you know, what do I post? I don't know what to post about. What do I write about? Um, well, just remember to, you know, be a person and be relatable. You know, you don't always want to be making a post about something you're selling or, you know, an offer you've got or a special you got. If you're always selling, you know, Facebook is social. Uh, you know, people don't always want to be sold to. Um, you know, I would say, you know, a good rule of thumb is, is maybe the, you know, 20-25% 20, of promotion and, you know, 80-75% of uh, just making informative posts. Maybe it's uh, tips and tricks that have to do with, you know, whatever your business is. Maybe you're sharing local events. You're cross-promoting, you know, somebody else. Um, you know, things like that. So make regular posts. And um, try to think of content or posts that you can engage people with. You know, ask a question, um, ask their opinion, uh, maybe take a poll. You know, you can uh, you know type a few questions out. Hey, you know, we're thinking about uh, getting this. What do you think? You know, open-ended questions. Try to get comments. Um, not only does that possibly give you some feedback, but that gives you extra exposure when when someone likes, comments, or shares a post, their friends see that. So it's, it's potential new likes, uh, you know, for your page. Um, you'll, you're getting the word out a bit, um, or actually people who engage with your content are getting the word out for you. So just keep that in mind. Um, Open-ended questions. Uh, you can also, uh, you know, I'm still on the free stuff. I haven't even started talking about ads yet, but just good rules of thumb. Um, you know, contests and promotion or contests and uh, giveaways are a really good way to grow your Facebook likes. Um, you know, get your name out there. It doesn't have to be a big, you know, giveaway or promo. It could be a gift card to somewhere. Um, so how would you do that, though? So if you're a business and you want to grow your Facebook visitors or your likes or whatever we're calling it, and I'm going to give away a gift card. You know, how are people, how are you doing that these days? So you have to kind of be careful. Um, you know, Facebook does have some rules, but they're a little lax on them. Um, you know, what I would do is, is come up with, um, you know, decide on what you want to give away. Um, again, it doesn't have to be huge. I've had clients to give away a, you know, $20, $25 gift card. I've had clients to give away, you know, a four-wheel drive uh, ATV, you know, that's worth eight, nine grand. Obviously, that's a promo that went on for months, and it was based on referrals to their dental practice, so they got, you know, multiple thousands of dollars out of that. So you need to kind of think about your goal. 
What do you want to do with this? Do you want to you know, get new people in your door? Do you want to get new people in your practice? Do you want to uh, gain new likes to your page? Do you just want to brand yourself, get the word out? You know, think of the goal, come up with a giveaway, craft a post uh, with that and have it a, a nice attention getting picture. Um, and you could, you could potentially create an image that has a little bit of text in it you don't want too much, uh, probably less than 20% of the, the real estate of that image, uh, because if we turn it into an ad and, and try to promote it and pay to get in, in front of more people, that text has to be less than 20% of the total size of that image. So just keep that in mind. But come up with a nice attractive image, you know, uh, content in the post, which obviously shows up above the image when you, you know, publish a post. and say, you know, hey, do you like free stuff? Uh, you know, blankety blank dental is, you know, until December whatever is given away blankety blank. Um, all you have to do to enter to win is A, like our page, B, uh, like or comment under this post, and uh, C, you know, think of something else. Um, and that's it. So you could try to do that uh, for free. You will get some movement out of that, but you will get a lot more if you promote that post. So by promoting, I mean turning it into an ad. Um, now promoting a post is probably the easiest way to get involved with Facebook advertising. Um, you know, you can go under any of your posts right now and you'll see promote post. You know, posts on your page or pages that you manage anyway. And you click that and you can uh, then look at targeting options. You can target people by you know area, by interests, by age, by you know male, female. Lots of options there, and that's probably the easiest way to get started. And you can control it, uh, you know, by a daily spend or a lifetime spend. So you could say, hey, I just want to spend five bucks a day until you know the end of the week, and you can choose the date, and it'll spend five bucks a day until the end of the week. Or you can say, hey, I want to spend $100, but that's it. Well, you can just say $100 lifetime instead of a daily. Choose your end date, and Facebook will spend it, you know, evenly among that time. But that, uh, you know, when you choose your area, so if you're a Bloomington normal business, you obviously want your area to be Bloomington normal. If you're a, you know, local brick-and-mortar business, you want people to come to you, potentially. Um, you know, choose your, your preferred demographic, age this to this, men and women. You can pick some interests if you like, or you can just go to anybody. Um, there's lots of targeting uh, options. Best way to, to learn about it is to go poke around and see what's there. And of course, you know, I'm here if you guys have any questions. But that's the first thing I do is grow your likes to your page because that gets the word out. And, um, you know, you can promote a post or a giveaway. You can create um, an offer, so maybe it's a dollar off um, a service that you provide or a dollar off uh, some product that you sell, and you can create an offer. That's another type of uh, Facebook ad you can do. And um, again, you target by uh, geographic, demographic, and interests. And uh, it's just a good way to get, you know, I think it's a cheap way to get, at, get out there and get people um, interested in your business and uh, you know we've got a bunch of tricks to get cheap likes to your page but that's probably another video and I don't even know if I want to tell everybody about that but um, you know there's other things you can do you know just to breeze over them I'm trying to keep this short you can create events um, you know we've all seen uh, events come up in our feed or maybe your friends on Facebook have invited you to an event so say you've got an open house or maybe you've got, um, you know, a Saturday you're having some event and you want to invite people to, well, you can actually promote events too. So you can create a, a post, which is actually creating an event, and it goes out to everybody that, um, you know, already likes your page. But you can promote that to, um, you know, all of Bloomington Normal if you like interested in certain things so maybe uh, you know we've got a client that's a uh, uh, we've got actually got a few bank clients but one idea 
Um, maybe you've got an open house and you're talking, of, you know, maybe you're promoting um, a home refinance uh, thing or whatever, home mortgage. So you can actually target people, you know, age this to this. You can target by income in Facebook. You can target people who own homes. So that way you're not feeding your ad out to people that rent, people that, you know, make $10,000 a year, people that, you know, live outside of Bloomington Normal. So you kind of get the point. Lots of uh, room for uh, good targeting and cheap traffic to your website, uh, cheap, you know, way to get people to your event, your open house or whatever. Um, I can go on and on and on, but I'll let Kim step in and see if she's got any questions so far. Well, I think that that's good for today. Um, so, marketing your small business in 2017, some great places to start on Facebook would be um, to try a promotion, to try some events, um, and just see how that goes. And then we'll be back with more videos on Facebook and on other ways that you can use search engine optimization and internet marketing to help grow your small business. So um, we wish you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. And um, that's all I have One to more say. Thing. What? As always, if anybody has any questions, it's either live right now or that watches this in the future, leave uh, any questions or comments under this video and uh, we'll come in and answer them. Yep. Okay. Merry Christmas. Bye.